What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got my new, just bought it a couple days ago, Ruger 1022. It's the uh, first time I'm actually gonna be shooting this gun. Pretty cool thing about it, it's got this little rotary magazine over here. This isn't gonna be um, a review video. In the future I might do a review video on this gun, but I wanna shoot it a little bit more before I do an actual review on the Ruger 1022 right here. So today we're just gonna be sighting it in right now. Um, I believe they bore sighted it at 25 yards at the store, but we've yet to test that out. So we're gonna go do that today. So I want to sight it in either at 25 or maybe 50 yards. I don't know yet. So the ammo we're gonna be shooting today is just this Federal Value Pack that I got right here. It's 1200 FPS right here, 40 grain, and it comes in boxes of 800 rounds. So we're gonna be shooting it with this and I'll probably zero it with this round right here. So let me get my target set up over there at the gravel pit and uh, we'll get shooting. All right, so I'm at 25 meters. I keep saying yards again, but I'm talking meters. So I'm at 25 meters right now. Ranged it with the range finder there. The target is right there. We've got a fresh piece of target paper right there and I'm just gonna prone Rest the rifle down on my bag and then shoot it at 25 meters. Let's go. Let's see how close this bore sight is from the shop. All right, so that's the first five round group. Let's see how it did. Oh wow, okay. So it is like, let's see, right there is pretty much the middle. One, two and a half. One, two and a half. Two and a half up, two and a half to the left. So, no actually no, it's one, two, yeah. Two and a half inches up and two and a half inches to the left. All right, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. I guess that bore sight isn't uh, isn't that close at all. But uh, two and a half inches up and left, it's not gonna be that hard. All right, we made the adjustments, and let's give her another shot. Uh, it looked like uh, it looked like it was good. Let's go have a look, though. All right, that's a lot better. Five round group, right there. I'm gonna adjust half and half to the right and half down, and then I think we should be pretty much spot on. All right, here we go. I think this should be the final adjustment. Let's give it a shot. We're shooting the bottom left. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. That ain't bad at all. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm wondering if I should move it to the left a little bit, and I think we should be good. I don't think I'm jerking my shots or anything like that. So. Let's move it to the left a little. Actually, no, we'll do another five round group. Shoot the bottom right target and see how that goes. Let's 
let's take a look at that. I think I might have been a little bit better. Maybe I just screwed up on that last one at the bottom left earlier. Okay, bottom right. No, we do have to move it to the left. We gotta move it half an inch, half an inch to the left. All right, let's do that then. That confirms it. All right, there we go. I've adjusted it half inch to the left again. And then I will try and shoot for the top left target now. Pretty sure we just drilled that target, guys. Oh, boys, that's what I'm talking about right there. We just drilled that thing, man. All right. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we're uh, sighted in right there at 25 meters. So the first one was here, and then the second one, third, fourth, fifth. I could have probably shot smaller groups instead of doing five round groups each time and use less ammo, but hey, it's 22 LR, it's still pretty cheap, relatively speaking, so why the heck not? It's fun to shoot, but uh, yeah, let's try it at different ranges. All right guys, I'm at 50 meters now. We're gonna try a shot here at 50 meters. All right, let's see how that went. And then we'll try 100 meters, and I think we're good. Lower, drop, okay. So it's still pretty much spot on at 50 meters. Great. Well, let's try 100 meters and see how that works out. 100 meters is where my chair is back over there. Right there. Well, we're gonna shoot from prone with a backpack, so we'll grab that. And then give it a shot at 100 meters and see how we do. Can't even see the middle target from here, so we'll go for the top left. First couple shots, I'm gonna aim directly at it. Last three shots, I'm gonna do what I think the holdover should be, which I think should be about seven and a half inches. Here we go. First two shots, I aim directly at it. Oh, oh, we got one here, one here, and one here. And I was holding over up to here. So, and we've got two impacts somewhere down here. I'm not sure which one of these, I'm not sure which one of these, but we've got two impacts down here. That probably was from when I was aiming directly at it. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going down about nine, ten inches, give or take. So nine, ten inches, give or take. Hold over at uh, at a hundred meters. Woo! That's tough. That's gonna be tough shots with a 22, I think. <laughs> All right. Well. I think that's going to do it for this video. Overall, love the rifle. Um, having fun with it. 50 meters, 
100% okay. 25, 50 meters, 100% okay. Once you push out to about 100, uh, things get a little bit dicey. So, gonna take a little bit of practice for those longer range shots with, with this 22. But uh, yeah, overall, love the rifle. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and then maybe later on I'll do an actual review video of uh, the Ruger 1022. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share with your friends and uh, check out my content if you like my content. Um, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button also and stay tuned in the future for more awesome content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.